it had fireplaces in every room except the bathroom. The realtor told me that the fireplace cannot be used because it wasn't built properly. I thought it was strange. The Tartarian fireplaces did not burn. Fireplaces were as spectacular as the buildings they stood in. But unlike the way we use fireplaces today, the fireplaces themselves were not designed to burn anything. The chimneys were not used to draw smoke out of the fireplace and out of the house's structure were not used primarily to provide any structural support. The reinforcement in the house was connected to the dome of the tower on the roof, which was quite possibly filled with various substances such as mercury, radium, or quartz crystal, and metal bars sticking out from the top and sides of the building. Everything was then connected with the metal back sheeting found inside the original Tatar fireplaces and chimneys. Metal poles sticking out of the upper and side sides of houses and other Tatar buildings acted as ethereal electric antennas that harnessed the power of the ether to channel this free energy into the chimney. The air ventilation shafts, air ducts, found in the rooms of the house were connected to the chimney. Ionized air, along with rising and falling currents of hot and cold air, created a pressure electric vacuum inside the chimney. During the winter, chimneys acted as pressure electric vacuums emitting captured heat inside the chimney out over the fireplace. During the summer, the process would be reversed and the fireplace and ventilation pipes would absorb heat into the fireplace and air ducts connected to the inside of the chimney inside the house and through ionized air from the etheric electrically charged metal backboard. Inside the KO mine would push the heat up the chimney and out the house. Reinforcement, dome, roof towers and metal bars sticking out of the sides of the house acted as a spider, attracting ether and concentrating etheric energy throughout the house. Just like spiders can grow and survive without food and water if they touch their web. Tartarians were able to live without food and water provided they remained inside their etherically charged home.